Hello, welcome back to Off Camera Cooking. My name is Jacob Fritz. Andrew Olson is uh, not here tonight. He's off camera somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Um, but tonight is just going to be uh, more of a how to episode um, how to carve up a chicken. So here I have a fresh, not fresh, but here I have a young chicken. And I'm using it from its packaging. And so you want to be careful, since you're dealing with chicken, to make sure that you're being as sanitary as possible. That's why I have three cutting boards right here, a nice large one for, uh, for the whole chicken itself, and then uh, several of the smaller ones for when I dice up the, not dice up, when I cut up the chicken itself that uh, I have somewhere to put it. Yeah. I've also prepared uh, the stuff I'm going to need before I actually get to cutting the chicken. And I have it out and ready. I have four sandwich bags. So here's the chicken. And usually when you, uh, when you have a chicken, they like to stuff it on the inside or put the innards on the inside. So here you have the neck. And what else do you have in there? You've got the here's the liver. Cut up. Yeah, the liver. The heart. And oh, I think there's the gizzard. There's the gizzard. I believe this is the gizzard. Uh, once I cut the breasts and the, and the legs and the thighs off, I save that for a soup uh, for later on. And that'll be a future episode. I'll show you what I do with the uh, with the uh, with that stuff. But well, let's get to uh, dicing, Not dicing, but carving. And no, 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 no. If you pick up the chicken, you'll notice that there's a um, a natural fold in the in the skin of the chicken, right. and this is where I begin. So if I just make an incision right there, you notice how much it opens up even more. And you're just going to file this all the way down. So all I've done right now is just cut the skin. Just bend back the leg until you hear a snap. So that here is the uh, here's the joint that was separated. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut in between, right? So my knife is going to want to come like this. My hand's right, be right behind, so instead of cutting this way, I'm just going to go from the side. And yank it from the side. And bam! I got it left. Do you need to see that again? Okay. Again, pick it up. See where the fold goes. Let's do a little small incision, just cutting the skin. You notice it opens up a little bit more. Separate the fascia from the, uh, from the muscle. The fascia is the connective tissue in between muscles. I hope I got that right, otherwise I look like an idiot, or sound like an idiot. Um, but again, bend it back, bend it back, bend the hip back until you get the crunching noise. You can see like a, like a line occurring. Just starting off from back here. Going in between the joint. And obviously if you have a sharp knife, it makes things easy. Otherwise you get with the, with the dull knife, right? Damn. Two very respectable legs and thighs. Next part is the breast. Now, before you get into the breast, there's one thing you want to remove to make your to make your life a whole lot easier. Is the wishbone. In order to access the collarbone, I'm first just going to cut the skin. It's right here along the chicken. I'm going to insert my finger until I. Uh, into this area right here, 
where I can feel the, uh, the bone. It's going to be the first bone that you feel. And, uh, and you're just going to kind of poke your finger through until you can separate that bone from the muscle. It's going to be easy, easy to do along here, but uh, it's going to take some effort at the joints here and up here to, to pry it loose. The collarbone right there. It's going to go all the way down here, up, and it's going to be the same side. And you'll notice that this is, this is the top of the, um, of the breast. So if I was, if I, if I, when I'm bringing my knife, I'd be hitting the, the collarbone as, a, as I was flaying the, um, as I'd be flaying the breast off. I popped this joint out, and so now we have the wishbone on both sides. And I just gotta remove it from the top. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I am going to do it. And there is a fully intact wishbone. Bam. Bam. I'm awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut along here to separate the... Uh, I'm going to need both hands, but I'm going to do a cut right here to split the... Um, to split the breast, and then I'm going to fillet along the ribs. So all I did was, like I said, split the chicken down the middle. I cut a little bit. Now you'll notice that there's that the breast is going to be double, uh, it's a double muscle. Okay? You can have your chicken tender right here and your breast right here. Okay? But I like to keep it all together so when I cook the breast it's going to be together. So I'm doing, I'm doing short strokes just following the contours of the, of the, of the breast muscle. Following the contours of the breast muscle. You can see the bone and hear it. And I'll be just making short little strokes along here, separating the breast from, from the rib itself. Now, if I left the collarbone in, the collarbone would have been approximately where the tip of my knife blade is, and I'd, have, and I'd be hitting it every time. So, without it, I can just make these nice long fillet strokes. Now comes a time where I'm getting close to separating completely from the from the breast uh, from the, from the chicken, and at this point you can just poke your knife right through and flay it off, bam, and then just follow it up. This is almost, almost self-explanatory. I mean, if, you, if you've never done this before, um, don't be scared. It's super easy to do. And once you know how to do it, then you're going to want to keep on doing it because it's so cheap to do it on your own. I mean, just look at the size of this breast that I'm going to be taking off. Side one. Look how big that breast is. Some of the things I like to do with the, with the breast is because um, chicken has a very subtle flavor, so you can marinate this easy. When, when, when I like to roast chicken, I like to roast chicken when it has the bone in it, so I leave that for the legs and the and thighs. But for something like this, this is almost fodder for like um, for breading and. Uh, and stuffing, uh, so you can, in an earlier episode, Andrew showed uh, a stuffed chicken recipe, so this would be perfect for that, because that's exactly what he used, it was stuffed chicken breast, and just removing the skin. Um,
But another thing you can do is, is make stir fry out of it. Just dice it up really easy, and there you go. Two beautiful big breasts. Make up from there. So, this is what I'm left with. The chicken carcass. Ah, legs, breasts, and thighs are done. So I'm going to take this, put it in my bag. Rests, put them in my sandwich baggies. They're not the biggest of bags, but whatever. That's what I had available to me. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. My name is Jacob Pritz. Like us on Facebook, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and uh, I'll see you on a future episode. So, good night. Oh, bonus footage. What's going on in there?